Cubase offers great vocal tuning capabilities with its pitch correct plugin and very audio editor. The first tool we'll look at is pitch correct, which can be used as an insert effect on our lead vocal. So listen to our vocal without the plugin. Enable the plugin. I can choose whether I have a male or female voice. My key, if you don't know the key, simply choose chromatic. I could have this be from my internal scale of A major or from external MIDI. If I'm looking for kind of the contemporary R&B pop sound, I could adjust the speed to kind of give the mechanic the robotic sound. Or if I want it to sound very natural. Now if I want the singer to sound older or younger, I can shift the format. A little older sounding. Now younger. When we're hungry, love will keep us alive. So quick easy, simple pitch correction with the pitch correct plugin. Our secondary tool will actually be in the sample editor called Very Audio. Simply click on pitch and warp and this will do an analysis of the entire vocal file without having to capture the vocal in real time into a third party plugin. I can perform the analysis here. It will determine the rhythm and pitch of our phrases. So let's go ahead and we'll maximize the window here. We'll zoom in a little bit so we can see what's going on with our vocal. So now we'll just kind of zoom in and let's take a listen to see what's going on with our phrase. And we'll hit play. So if I wanted to nudge notes, I could do that. Now, if I want to see if a note was out of tune, as I move over a note, it will actually, if we zoom in far, it will say E3 minus 17%. That indicates that the pitch of that note is E3, and it's 17% flat. So if I just nudge it, I can now just have that note in tune. If I wanted to take an entire phrase, I could just select a phrase here and go to what's called my quantize pitch slider. So just like we move MIDI notes when we quantize them closer to the beat, I can just simply move the intonation closer to being in tune right here. Let's listen to the phrase. And now it's in tune but still doesn't sound like it's been processed. Let's listen to the very last note and see if we want to change some of the phrasing. Let's say I wanted the note to last to right where the cursor is. I could now just grab the bottom edge and it's now stretch that note. Now let's say we listen to the vibrato and it bothers us a little bit. What I could do is straighten the pitch to minimize the vibrato. You were now let's go to a different phrase, uh, something we see in a lot of vocal recordings. Let's take this phrase here. Keep us alive. And we'll see the vibrato kind of kick in on a long note and then drift flat. So if I wanted to come over here, now there's a different mode I could switch between. I have pitch and warp and segments mode. I can come right over here and now just kind of move that note in tune. I can move that note in tune. If I wanted to join those as a single note, as a single entity, I could hit my tab key to switch between pitch and warp and segments mode. And if I hold down my alt or option key, I could just simply connect those two to make it one segment. 
So let's say we listen to it and we'll listen to the note again. And let's say I wanted to create an anchor point. So if I kind of come over here to my pitch and warp mode and go to the top of the phrase, I could create an anchor point right there. And now what I could do is go to this edge. We'll zoom in a little here to make it a little easier to see. And I can now just simply see the lines appear. And we'll just take the end of the phrase and have that instead of drifting flat. Now let's say I wanted to actually change the vibrato characteristics just on the end of the phrase. Again, hit my tab key, go to segments mode, come right here, split, go back to my pitch and warp mode, and now I could straighten the pitch and minimize the vibrato on that phrase. And let's bring in this phrase just a little more. Here. And now we'll listen to it. Now let's say I wanted to actually change a melodic figure, uh, but let's say perhaps the singer has already left and we wanted to change a figure. We will come right over here. Listen to this phrase. And let's go ahead and pitch quantize that. So we'll see the notes shift to being in tune. And we'll take the pitch quantizing on and off so you can see the effects of it but we, as we do this notice that there's hardly any artifacts and it sounds incredibly natural so now i'm going to go to segments mode by hitting my tab key and i want to just come right here and i want to separate some of the pitches so i'm going to split right there so as i go to the bottom it turns into a scissors tool when i come over here and i go back to my pitch and warp I can now just use my arrow keys on my computer keyboard. And let's listen to the phrase. Or let's change it. And let's say I want to change some further phrasing. Let's say this phrase can be take the phrase baby, baby. and baby. let's just come here and let's tighten that up and give it a little more attitude baby. or let's baby. say I wanted to elongate it kind of give it a lot of passion and angst Now I could also come over here and have real-time MIDI input in the phrases as well. So if I wanted to just select a particular MIDI note here, I could now just come right here and turn on my virtual keyboard and turn MIDI on and then I could, or any MIDI keyboard. Now one of the other great things is under functions is we have an extract MIDI. Since we basically have figured out what the notes are, what the rhythms are, we can turn this into MIDI information. But one of the great things is often when we turn notes, uh, audio into MIDI, all the natural inflections and vibratos and notes that were a little out of tune never really get translated. So if you have a MIDI part played, it would be kind of out of tune. But now we could actually extract MIDI pitch bend data. So when I hit OK, it can now just simply make a MIDI track that I could then print out assign to other instruments in the MIDI domain. So if I wanted to correct my vocals using the pitch correct plugin or using the extensive Vary Audio editor, and one of the great things with the Vary Audio is you have unlimited levels of undo since it's totally integrated into the sample editor. So if you wanted to use those great pitch correction tools, they come standard with Cubase 5.